Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Roadmaster Falcon 2 tow bar on a 2022 Ford Maverick. Now there's five main components required to flat tow your vehicle and on the vehicle side we'll start with the base plate which is going to attach to the frame of the vehicle and create a structural mount for our tow bar to connect and the tow bar is going to be the connection point between the base plate and the hitch on the RV. Now with that base plate, you also have a spot for your safety chains. And that way, in case of an accidental disconnect, you're still attached to the hitch of the RV. You also have your diode wiring, which is gonna transmit the light signals from your RV, as well as 12 volt power in some cases to your towed vehicle, mimicking the light sequence, and that's gonna keep you safe and legal. Now we also have our braking system, which is gonna bring the vehicle to a slower stop as you apply the brakes on the RV. And you're also gonna have your breakaway cable along with that. And that way, if everything was to fail, it's gonna pull that cable and bring the vehicle to a slow or stop. Now this Roadmaster tow bar is designed to work with Roadmaster base plates, so your attachment points are going to all work. But not to worry, if you do have a different base plate, like a Blue Ox, you can get the adapters sold separately, and that way you can still hook up to that base plate. Now this is an entry-level tow bar, but it's from Roadmaster, which makes really high-quality products. And the one thing that really kind of hinders this compared to maybe some of your other tow bars is this is a binding tow bar so if you're not on perfectly flat level ground once you go to unhook your vehicle these can be pretty tricky to get to release that way you can draw your arms back they do sell a separate tool that allows you to kind of pry on these to pop them open so that might be something to consider especially if where you go camping might be a little you know off kilter it's just going to make it a lot easier but it does kind of have some interesting features as well like longer arms and a wider radius so it really does attach to a bunch of different vehicles it also gives you a slightly better turn radius than some of the other ones out there but you are lacking any cable management so it's pretty basic in general tow bar terms uh, you do get a 6,000 pound weight capacity so it's great for the maverick or even a slightly larger vehicle this would work on it but again some of your other nicer ones as you kind of go up the chain you're going to get something that might have these included or at least routed through. So that is something to consider. You are gonna have to pick up some safety cables. Um, so some of your other ones will come with that. Now, if you are looking to stick with Roadmaster, but really wanna kind of move up the level to a really, really nice tow bar, I can't recommend the Nighthawk much more than I already do. It's a really nice uh, tow bar that has built-in lights. It's got cable management. It's non-binding, so you don't have to worry about hopefully getting these to release without a tool so it's got a lot of nice features but again if this is your first uh, step into flat towing this isn't a bad option it attaches to our roadmaster base plate using pins and this is a uh, pretty easy to just slide in place and you can see a line here and drop that pin in and that way you know it's locked in place now once it's locked the pin is going to be up and if you do need to retract it you're going to simply just push this down but as i mentioned before it is binding so again if you're on uh, uneven surface it can get a little bit tricky here now one thing i will mention you may need to pick up a high low adapter to determine which drop that you may need just me measure from the center of the hitch pin to the ground and then you're going to measure where your pins go in through your base plate to the ground and you're going to want to have that within a three inch window you don't want to go any more than that and ideally as level as possible and when not in use you can store your falcon 2 on the back of your rv pretty easily you're just going to fold this up and you're going to have this large bolt here that's going to go into this spring-loaded latch and once you get that lined up you can then choose to put it to the left or the right it's up to you and if you do plan on keeping this on your vehicle year round or just you know for the time being while driving you're going to want to kind of protect this they do sell roadmaster storage bags here that's just going to keep this looking good it's going to keep all your hardware really nice you don't want all the road grime getting on there and plus it's nice because all your cables you can kind of store that in the bag and have it all together and that was a look at the roadmaster falcon 2 tow bar on a 2022 ford maverick